I am Adil Kumar sharing with you a test question on finding mean and median from group data. The equation here is find the mean and median of the salaries. How much does outliers influence mean and median? We are given salaries in thousands of dollars and these are number of persons. 10 to 30, 12 persons, 30 to 40, 24 and so on. Now in this particular case, outliers will be the group 90 to 100, right? There's one person and we have to see what is the influence of this on mean and median. So let's try to find out the mean first, right? So let's find mean. To find mean, we have to find the middle of these class interval values and that is add them divide by 2. 20 plus 30 is 50 divided by 2 is 25. So we get this as 25. Similarly for others we can just add 10 now since class interval is 10 and get rest of the values correct. So, so these are up to 95. Now that is the frequency for number of persons. Uh, we need to find total of these number of persons. Let's sum this up using a calculator. Let's do it. We have 12 plus 24 plus 32 plus 19 plus 9 plus 3 plus 1 equals to 100. So this totals to 100. So that is the sum of frequencies F which we'll also call as total number of persons, right, n. We're going to use this value n for to finding the median. Uh, we need to add a column here. So let's add a column. Multiplying, uh, let's say this is frequency. So xi times fi, right, frequency of each person. Let's multiply this. So we'll do uh, 25 times 12, 25 times 12 is equal to 300, so write 300 here. 35 times 24, which is 840. 45 times 32, 1440. 55 times 19, 1045. 65 times 9, 585. 75 times 3, 225. Times 0 is 1, times 1 is 95. Correct? Now let's add them up also. So we get 300 plus 840 plus 1440 plus 1045 plus 585 plus 225 plus 95 which gives us a value of 4530 correct so that is sum of uh, xifi correct now this helps us to find the mean clearly we can write down what mean is so mean is equal to the ratio of these two, right? So ratio of xi, fi over ratio of n, which is fi, correct? So which is 4530 divided by, divided by 100, and that gives you uh, 45.30. Now in dollars, this is thousands of dollars. So, so we could write this as in dollars, 45,000, so it becomes 300, correct? So that is the mean for us. Now let's calculate median. Now median is the center value when you arrange them in particular order. But whenever you are given group data, we really don't know where these elements are, right? So. So to find median, we are always approximating, right? So we will get approximate value. Let's understand that part first. 
first. Now, as and it has to be at n by 2, n is 100 for us, so n by 2 is 50. So we have to look for the 50th person when arranged in ascending order. Now, for that, I think we'll have to first add a column here based on cumulative frequency. And then we'll be in a position to calculate. So let's do that part first. So we have 12 here, adding 12 to 24 gives us 36, adding 36 to 32 gives us 68, and then 20 is 88, one less, 87, plus 9 gives 96, 3 is 99, this is 99, and that makes it, I mean 99, that makes it 100, 1, correct? So that becomes the cumulative frequency column. Now if you analyze, where is 50? So we have to look for 50. This number. Now clearly 50 is above 36. So the class which hides the answer is this one, right? So that is the class of our interest. Now in this class, the lowest value is 40 for us, right? The class interval, which we say H, is actually equals to 10. And the frequency of this class, F, is 32. I mean, and uh, the, the frequency before, the cumulative frequency before this, that means, is 36. We say F is 36. Now we can use the formula and get the result. Now before getting the formula, let me give you uh, approximate value as, as done in some schools. So what they do here is they just take the mid value. So uh, they will take the mid value of this particular class of our interest. So between 40 and 50, it is 45. So they say 45 is the answer. And in dollars, it will be 45,000. Does make sense to you, right? So this is done in some schools, not all. But that is not a wrong answer. Since uh, median is always an approximation, so that's not a bad approximation at all. Anyway. Uh, now, for some students who are doing IB, let me write down. So, so IB program or or AP program or or other countries, they they assume that all these thirty two elements right there, these thirty two elements are uniformly distributed in the class. So, so we are working on an assumption that, that 32, which is this group, is uniformly distributed in class interval of 10, right? Of 10. Correct. So, so for them, the median will be the lowest value is 40. Add to this, how far are we from 36? We are going to 50th person, right? So we have 50 minus 36 divided by that frequency of 32 times the class interval, which is 10. Correct. So that gives you the answer. Is that okay? So we'll do the calculation. Anyway, I didn't write the formula. Let me write down the formula for benefit of most students. So median is, we say L, the lower limit of this class, plus this is N by 2, right, minus the frequency of the previous cumulative frequency, let's call it F, over the frequency of the group of our interest, times the class interval, right? So that becomes a very important formula to work with. 
Let's calculate the answer now. So the answer is 50 take away 36 uh, equals to divide by 32 equals to times 10 equals to and then we'll add 40 to this. So we get some decimal value which is 45,375. So we say 44.375. Or in dollars multiplied by a thousand, we get forty-four three thousand seventy-five. Is it okay? So that becomes the that becomes the median for us, right? So the median approximate is forty-five thousand, uh, but this is a closer and better estimate. Perfect, which we get with the help of this formula, which makes sense since what we have done here is taken the lower limit and uh, we want to know how far we are from here we have to reach 50th element which is uniformly distributed so the frequency is divided by 10 so f divided by h which goes in the numerator anyway so we get this part now so we have done the first part let's look into the second part which is how much does the outlast influence mean and median now one thing is important, for median zero influence, right? This is the center value. It is not going to change with the outlier here. However, mean is going to change, right? Since 95 times one, this element is going to make a change. How much change will it make? Let's calculate, right? So, so what I will do here, since I'm running out of space here, I will recalculate. So if I take away this 95, then what do I have? I have 45.30, so let me write down here. 45.30 take away 95, is it okay? And then we'll divide by not 100, uh, but we'll divide by 99, since I'm not taking this particular person who is drawing within this range, right? So let's calculate again the mean so this is our mean do you understand so we have 45 30 take away 95 so that is the total sum and we are dividing this by 99 in decimals we get 44 let's say 80 right so which is 44.8 uh, okay so 0.8 so thousands, if I add, 44,000 in dollars, 44,800 approximately, correct? Earlier was 45,300. So what is the difference here? Let's find the difference. So we have 45,300 take away 44,800 is 500. So, so, so there is a deficit, I mean. So this is 500 more. This is $500 extra because of the outlier, correct? So that is how we can answer part B. So outliers normally influence mean and they do not influence median. It's very important to take from this particular example. I'm Anil Kumar. Feel free to post your questions and suggestions. If you like and subscribe, that'll be good for me. Thank you and all the best.